In this video, I'll be going over everything you need to know about stats and how they work in Pokemon, not just in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but obviously because these are the latest games. But before I get straight into it, um, honestly, guys, I would love and appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. It would genuinely mean a lot to me. Having said that, let's get straight into it. So to understand how stats work in the context of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet currently, we need to ask the first question, what are base stats so base stats are a set of numbers uh, used to determine a pokemon's strength in six different areas which are hp attack defense special attack special defense and speed they serve as a guidance so us as players know how to utilize pokemon best in battle now these specific base stats are set by game freaks so game designers they they just set these stats they create these stats they're not based on anything in particular it's just what they feel would work best. Now let's have a look at an example of base stats. So if we have Charizard here, we can see that HP base stat is 78, special attack hits um, base stat is 109, and all of its base stats add up to 535. On the right hand side, we have a range. Now um, don't look too much about how they're calculated, but all you need to know is a level 100 um, Charizard uh, will have uh, 266 HP on the low end, but on the high end, it will have 360. Uh, obviously, if you want your Pokemon, in this case Charizard, to perform as best as it can, then you need to be looking at level 100, uh, the top end of the ranges. Now, level 100 is important because this is where all the magic happens. All the IVs and EVs are calculated accurately. Level 50 is where Pokemon uh, battle competitively, but you want to get your Pokemon to level 100. The game will just, you know, get them down to level 50 anyway. Now, this is what base stats look like. And honestly, um, the numbers on the left-hand side, the 70, 84, they're set by the game designers. But the ranges have been calculated, which we're going to get to later on. And I think that's everything we need to know about the first part, what are base stats? Secondly, why are base stats useful? Why are they needed? Let's look at that. Now, there are three main reasons as to why base stats are extremely important. The first reason is that it gives you a good idea of a Pokemon's strength, so we know how to utilize it in battle. Take my Gyarados, for example. If you have a look at its stats, you can see that it's a strong physical attacker. Knowing this will help me decide, number one, its moveset, number two, EVs, number three, IVs, number four, nature, and number five, even an item that I can use to help my Pokemon boost its stats. Realistically speaking, base stats help you to answer all of these questions. The second reason that it helps you to compare two Pokemon at a glance, I've got these two sets of stats here. I can use these stats to determine which Pokemon I want on my team based on what each Pokemon is good at. Now, if you are picking a, a competitive team that you're going to take to like Pokemon VGCE tournament, then obviously there's going to be so much more that goes into it. But if you're picking a team simply just to play the game, then a comparison like this will be will be good enough realistically speaking and the third reason is that it helps you to determine your pokemon's final stat at level 100 now this is what we are going to be looking at next so how do we actually calculate these stats now before we look at how to actually calculate the stats there are four extremely important points that we need to know the first thing is that at level 100 31 ivs equals an additional 31 points number two 252 EVs at level 100 equals an additional 63 points. Number three, nature will give you a 10% boost in a particular stat. The fourth point, and probably the most important point, is that nature is calculated after IVs and EVs have been taken into consideration. Even if you have zero IVs and zero EVs, once those zeros have been added in, then and only then, will the nature be calculated now if we have a look at my magna zone here on pokemon showdown which is a website i regularly use uh, at level 100 my magna zone has a hp of 250 how have i gone from 70 to 250 even if you have a look at its attack stat how have i gone from 70 to 145 now i'm going to introduce you to two formulas now these two formulas they are um, quite confusing when you are looking at them and I want to thank Gamer Guides for um, doing this because this is probably the easiest one that I've been able to find in terms of how it's laid out but I'm going to show you the simplified version of these two formulas now before we go any further just to clarify 
HP is calculated in one way, but all the other stats, the five other stats, are calculated in another way. Now, the simplified version of these two formulas only works when there are four criterion in place. Number one, the Pokemon is at level 100. Number two, the Pokemon has zero EVs. Number three, the Pokemon has zero IVs. And number four, the Pokemon has a neutral nature. Now, to work out HP with the simplified formula, you do two times base plus 110. Now, let's have a look at this Magnezone. 70 times by 2 is 140. 140 add 110 equals 250. There you go, it works. Now, that's the formula for HP. To work out the formula for all the other five stats is simply 2 times base plus 5. So let's have a look at my Magnezone. Uh, it's got attack of 70. 2 times 70 is 140. Add 5 is 145. Let's look at its defense. 2 times 115 equals 230. Add 5 equals 235. Special attack, 130 times by 2 is 260. Add 5 equals 265. And those two formulas, as I've just mentioned, I'll just put them on screen again, are the two simplified versions of working out stats, but only when they are level 100, uh, zero EVs, zero IVs, and a neutral nature. Now, this is my actual Magnezone that I use within the game. And if you have a look, it's got a special attack stat of 394. Now, when I show you its actual base stats and you look at the range you can see that the maximum attack start at level of special attack sorry is 394 at level 100 so how have i gone from 130 to 394 now the reason why my specific magnezone has got a special attack of 394 is because it has been influenced by ivs evs and uh, beneficial nature now the first thing that we need to do is we need to look at what would our special attack stat be without EVs, IVs and a beneficial nature and as we know it would be 265 because we have already calculated this. Then what you do is you do 265 plus 31 which equals 296. The additional 31 points has come from the 31 IVs that it would have in a special attack. Now I've also given it 252 EVs, 252 EVs equals uh, an additional 63 points. So it has been EV trained in special attack. So I do 296 plus 63, which gives me 359. Now it has also got a, uh, a modest nature, which uh, gives it a boost of 10% in its special attack. So if I do 10% of 359, that equals 35.9. That is then rounded down to 35. I do 359 plus 35 that gives me 394 and this is how you calculate um, a pokemon's uh, stat when it has been influenced by ivs evs and uh, a beneficial nature now that's pretty much it in terms of how to calculate stats quite long-winded but hopefully it has helped now the remaining points that i just want to make on the video are that ivs work on all six stats which means you can have plus 31 on all six stats however evs you can only max out two stats meaning that there are only two stats that you can have an additional 63 points in from your evs because of how evs are calculated and just lastly nature can only boost one stat and it's not hp so you need to pick the the stat that's most important to you for a particular pokemon and i think that's everything that we need to know about stats base stats how they work and how they're calculated hopefully guys you have found this video interesting um and helpful and if you have then definitely do subscribe to my channel i've also got three other videos that i've done evs natures and ivs definitely do give them a watch as well and lastly thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys next time